Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Beast Wars Transformers reissue of Maximal Cyber Shark. But before we get started, if you haven't yet already done so, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss another awesome review. Now, as we can see, this is another Beast Wars reissue, which I'm actually very excited about. Um, we got this guy plus Wolf Fang K9, which is pretty much the exact same mold, and Retrax, which I've already looked at earlier. Um, out of all of them, I'm probably, I would say, the most excited about this because overall the design just looks really, really good. Of course, here we do see a Hammerhead Shark. We got the nice classic Beast Wars card on the back, nice bubble on the front. We do see a nice Hammerhead Shark with some nice speckled detailing. Here we do see Deluxe Maximal Cyber Shark. I apologize for the halo with firing torpedoes. And here we do see the shark. Shark becomes ocean attack robots. We do see Beast Wars up here, and we do see the robot mode design as well as Maximal Cyber Shark, the Kenner logo on the bottom. And on the back, we have kind of the old instructions, which is a cutout card, which I won't be cutting out. I do want to save the card. We do have the bio kind of function ocean attack. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's crack this open and see what he has to offer. And here we have Cyber Shark out of the packaging. Now bringing this figure in for a closer look, we do see this is a hammerhead shark. Very nicely painted and detailed. We do have this kind of metallic teal spotted pattern on the back here. We do see nice red eyes on the sides and kind of a nice gradient into uh, kind of a tannish color on the bottom. It's a little blurry. And we do see some robot leg kibble, but um, for a figure that's around 30 years old, I can forgive that, not an issue. Uh, we do see kind of silver teeth here as well, very, very nice. And we even have articulated fins with um, some, some of that same detailing here. And we also have kind of a silver claw tail on the back, which this is a gimmick, you can fold this back and click it in and basically what you're going to do is press this and then that claw will flip out again this spring does not seem as strong as what it would be all those years back again for safety reasons now so there is that and for articulation there was that um, these fins are on ball joints and that's pretty much all you're going to get uh, the other feature i'm not sure if this actually works well in this mode is the head can shoot if you push this the head shoots out, but again, like I said, the springs are extremely weak. So there you go. That's the best you're probably gonna get out of that. So we do see kind of a nice metallic robot head underneath. So yeah. Now, in terms of comparisons, I'm just gonna put him down here. Uh, here we do have Deluxe Class Cheetor. And a recent review that we did, the Deluxe Canine. So that's it for comparisons for beast mode. Now getting on with transformation, I would say that for a figure that is around 30 years old, this guy holds up really well, even by modern day standards. This is a, actually a very, very good figure. So the first thing we're gonna do, first thing I like to do is take this tail and just pop it right off. This is a separate weapon piece. And yes, he is a little bit of a parts former without this. If you take this off, you lose this, you lose the head, he looks like a mess. So you're gonna take that off. And next, what you're going to do is you're actually just going to flay him open. And we can see we have the arms, the legs, everything's here already. And next, we're going to unpeg. If it hasn't done already, we do see there's a peg in there that kind of slides out. And we're just going to pull this whole assembly down. We're going to take that same peg and plug it into this bottom hole. Make sure everything comes down just like that and fit that all the way in nice and snug and we're going to straighten out these feet and we're going to lift up these arms and you pretty much have cyber shark all transformed so you can see very very nicely detailed i love that face sculpt very mean looking. We do have some nice red flesh color detailing on the inside of the shark. We do have some mechanical detailing as well. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, you can see some of that. And same on the other side. Some of that back there. And some detailing into the leg. Uh, I'm not sure why these nubs are here. Um, they serve no purpose. As you can see, this is flat. And then we have this thing sticking out. So it's actually making him 
unstable. Now, this could be due to safety reasons because this does end in a bit of a point. And of course, kids nowadays are not as smart maybe as kids back then. So they're poking their eyes out or whatever. So uh, they decided to add a little nub here, which kind of makes them a little bit... Nah, it's actually not that bad, but it does reduce the stability uh, compared to if the foot was completely fat. So there is that. Now on the back here, we do see it's just a, it's kind of a shell former. Now in terms of articulation, the head is on a ball joint. Very nice. We do have ball jointed shoulders and we do have a bicep rotation, single bend at the elbow. No waist articulation, but the legs can kind of kick forward and back. There is a thigh rotation, bend at the knee, and a hinge at the ankle. So pretty good articulation for something all those years back. Now, a few things you can do here. Uh, in the instructions, they do say that you can lift this head piece up, and he can shoot this off. Uh, shoot off the shark head. Again, the spring is not the strongest, so there is that. Um, if you lift up his legs, you push these missiles up. He does have two missiles that store in his back. And let's take a look at this missile. It's actually nicely detailed. It's like a shark head torpedo kind of a deal. You see the teeth and the eyes and the gill. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to plug this into his chest like that. And same thing, you can press that and it'll shoot. That's much stronger. I do like that. Okay, there you go. So uh, when you're not using it, you can just take this and just plug it right in this back and it'll store right there. Now, personally, I do like it without this shark head on. Uh, it just looks much more slick. The robot mode looks much more better. Uh, that's not proper grammar anyway, but the, the legs, the articulation is much better. You know, kick forward so much more and uh, there's so much more kind of expression that you can give this guy. So much more dynamic compared to if you have this shark head stuck on his belly. Because it basically just looks like he has a giant dress there. So I do like this look much more. So there's that. And of course he can hold the shark tail. I think I'm going to stand first, which we'll see here. Uh, again, shark tail, you flip this back. There's a hook in there, you can probably see. And if you press this down, it unlatches that. Oh, the other way pushes down, unlatches that, and this flips out. And this thing can become a handle. You can hold it either like that as a gun, kind of like this, or underslung, or you can hold it like a sword. Um, personally, I think the sword look is pretty good. So you can hold it like that. And unfortunately, there's no way for him to actually hold the shark head. I just like to have it out of the picture. So yeah, that's Cyber Shark for you. Let's do a quick comparison here. I do have just one robot mode handy, and that is the, I believe, Ultra Class Optimus Primal. And we can see nice size difference there. But again, I would say even between the two, this guy holds up really well by modern day standards, even more so than this guy. This guy is very gimmick heavy, but in terms of an actual figure, he's not as good as this one here. So yeah, that's it for comparisons for Robot Mode. So final thoughts on Cyber Shark here. I do like this figure. Again, he is not perfect, um, but even by modern day standards, he is doing really well. Probably the best Beast Wars reissue we've had to date. Articulation is awesome. Detailing is awesome, spot on. He has just the right amount of gimmicks. And uh, out of all of them, like I said, I feel like he is the most worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.